Imagine flying in one of the world's best international airline carriers to Abu Dhabi or to one of the many bucket list destinations around the world. Etihad Airlines is widely recognized for supplying a beautifully designed and comfortable flight experience along with top level food and service. I was recently able to experience flying in the residence on Etihad's A380 and I can honestly say that I don't think any of the other flight experiences will ever top this one for me. If you're interested in getting an inside look at this trip, I recently did a video covering the whole journey, so I'll put a link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to find and book an award flight on Etihad Airways. I'll take you through the process step by step, and I'll also cover some of the unique situations that can occur during the search process. In case you're new here, hi, I'm Mel, and I share my travel experiences and teach you the how-tos for free travel. If you like this type of content, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And with that out of the way, let's get started. In the past, I've discussed how you can book award flights for any given airline on their own site or through the site of any of the airlines in the same alliance. Etihad is unique though because they actually aren't part of an airline alliance at all. However, they do have code share partner airlines that they work with in somewhat the same way. But Etihad seems to have different arrangements with different partners and the relationships can change over time. And this inconsistency can make booking Etihad award flights through other airlines a bit challenging to say the least. I'll cover these differences once we start looking at booking options. Of the 32 codeshare airlines listed on Etihad's website, I think the two most worth focusing on are Air Canada and their Aeroplan program and Air France and their Flying Blue program. But you should also know that you can book Etihad flights through American Airlines Advantage program too even though Etihad doesn't list them as one of their co-chair airlines, at least at the time this video was being made. The bottom line is that as of now, you can book an Etihad award flight directly via Etihad Guest, which is Etihad's own loyalty program, or depending on a few different factors we'll discuss as we go along, you may also be able to book through Air Canada's Aeroplan program, Air France's Flying Blue program, or American Airlines Advantage program. Before beginning our search, it's important to understand what kind of points you'll need in order to purchase an Etihad Award flight. This will vary depending on which airline you use to book, and it can be a deciding factor when you're deciding how you want to book. If you want to go through the Etihad Guest program, there are three flexible travel reward credit card companies that transfer points there, American Express, Capital One, and City. If you want to book through Air Canada's Aeroplan program, there are four flexible travel reward credit card companies that transfer there. Chase, American Express, Capital One, and Built. And Flying Blue is even better because all five flexible travel reward credit cards transfer there. Chase, American Express, City, Capital One, and Built. But the opposite is true if you want to book through American Airlines Advantage program then your options are much more limited. The only flexible travel reward credit card company that transfers to American is Built. So booking on the American Airlines website will only work for you if you have enough American Airline miles to book or if you have enough Built points to transfer. However, keep in mind that there are some great ways for earning American Airlines miles quickly. And I recently did a video outlining the best methods. So if you're interested in learning more about that, I'll put a link in the description below. Now that we've covered the airline options for booking an Etihad Award flight, let's search for a business award flight leaving from North America. When doing these types of bookings, you always want to start with the longest segment first. So let's pick one of the nonstop routes between Abu Dhabi and North America. This is the most important piece of the puzzle, so it's wise to find Saver Award space for that segment first, and then you can figure out any other segments that you need. There are currently only four nonstop routes between North America and Abu Dhabi. Chicago, Washington DC, New York City, and Toronto. 
Once you have your North American city selected, it's time to search for availability. I always begin my search with American Airlines. This is the best place to start because they offer a great search tool that allows you to view one month at a time. Before I search though, I need to mention that recently, Etihad Airways has only been releasing award space to its partner airlines for flights that are happening in the next 30 days. This has not always been the case, and hopefully it won't continue to be the case, but when I mentioned that Etihad Airways' relationships with its partner airlines change over time, this is exactly the kind of thing I was referring to. So let's go to the American Airlines website and enter the search terms. Chicago to Abu Dhabi, one way, redeem miles, and you can just pick a random date for now. Then click search. Next, we wanna select calendar so we can see one month of availability at a time. And select business first class for the class of service and non-stop only. Within the next 30 days, it looks like there's one flight on March 31st and another on April 4th. I'm gonna go back and select March 31st. I select the business class flight to get more details. And there's my flight, Chicago to Abu Dhabi, 1.30 p.m. flight in business class for 70,000 miles plus $7 in taxes and fees. That's a pretty good deal in my opinion. So we have our first booking option. Book the flight on American Airlines for 70,000 miles plus $7 in taxes and fees. Let's now go find the same flight on the Etihad Guest site. I go to Etihad Guest and click Book up at the top. Book flight with miles comes up and I enter the same search terms including the date. March 31st, 2024. Click Search Flights. There's the 1.30 p.m. flight at the top. Click it. And the one we want is Guest Seat because that's what Etihad calls their saver award availability. And Etihad is charging 120,000 miles plus $544 in taxes and fees. Quite a bit more expensive than American Airlines. So our options are now American Airlines for 70,000 miles plus $7 or Etihad for 120,000 miles plus $544. Let's keep going. Our next option is Air France Flying Blue. We go to Air France and enter the same search criteria and search flight. There's the 1.30 p.m. flight right at the top. Select it. And we can see that Air France is offering the flight for 90,000 miles plus $186.50. So let's add it to the list of options. I always find it so interesting that different airlines will charge vastly different prices for the exact same seat on the exact same flight. The last search we need to do is Air Canada's Aeroplan. I put in the same search terms again. Chicago, Abu Dhabi, March 31st, book with points, one way, find. When results pop up, I see the 1.30 p.m. flight, but only in economy class. We're allowed to book an economy ticket for 55,000 points, but there's no availability in business. But here's what's interesting about these results. There was a time, not that long ago, that booking Etihad's business and first class award flights through Air Canada's Aeroplan program was by far the most popular method. But in the points and miles world, things are always changing, and that's part of what makes this hobby so challenging at times. In the case of Air Canada, I called their phone line after my search. The agent I spoke with couldn't see the flight either, and when I explained to her why it should be there, she put me on hold to see if she could get some more information. When she came back on the line, she said that apparently there was a communication between Etihad Airways and Air Canada that said that all first class and business class award availability have been inhibited on both the website and the call center. That's all she was able to tell me, but the results I've been finding were consistent with this. So at the beginning of this video, when I said that Etihad Airways has different relationships with different partners and that these relationships can change over time, this is exactly the type of thing I was talking about. So for now, Air Canada is offering economy flights on Etihad, but apparently they're not being allowed to offer business class or first class award space. This could change and I hope it does, but for now we just have to keep watching. Now if we look at our booking options, we can see that we really have only three options to consider if we want to fly business class. 
Clearly, American Airlines offers the best pricing, but remember that the only flexible travel rewards points that can transfer to American are built rewards. So if that doesn't work for you, the next best option is Air France Flying Blue, and all five travel reward credit card points transfer there. If you're interested in experiencing one of Etihad's apartments, things get even more complicated. But it's not impossible, so stick with me. Complication one, the apartments are not offered on most of Etihad's aircraft or routes. They are only available if you're flying in one of Etihad's Airbus A380s. There were several routes for which they flew these planes prior to 2020, but during COVID, they temporarily retired all of the A380s. Then last year, Etihad brought back four A380s to fly their London to Abu Dhabi route. And they also recently announced that starting in April 2024, they'll be bringing back their A380 service between Abu Dhabi and New York City. So stay tuned for that. Complication two, Air Canada and Air France are not offering tickets for the apartments. I already explained how Air Canada is only being allowed to offer economy flights right now, but what about Air France? Well, let's see what happens when we search. Let's start the search with American Airlines because they have the monthly search tool. But remember that they're only allowed to offer premium cabin space for the next 30 days. So let's focus our search there. I'm going to search from London to Abu Dhabi one way, redeem miles, and just pick a random date and hit search. When results pop up, I immediately select the calendar option. And let's select first class because the apartments are first class and nonstop only. A surprisingly large amount of availability pops up. Let's select a date, March 10th. Apply changes. And there's the flight. Etihad Airways, first class. And if we check the type of plane, we can see it's the Airbus A380. So this ticket will be in the apartments. And the award price is 62,500 miles plus $305.10 in taxes and fees. So our first option for booking the apartments from London to Abu Dhabi is American Airlines for 62,500 miles plus $305.10. Now let's pull this flight up on Etihad Guest. I go to Etihad Guest and click book up at the top. Book flight with miles comes up and I enter the same search terms, including the date, March 10th. Click search flights. There's our flight up at the top. Let's select it. And the one we want is guest seat, because remember that Etihad calls their saver award availability guest seat. And Etihad is charging 140,000 miles plus $446 in taxes and fees. And if we look at the details, it shows that it's the Airbus A380. Again, when we add it to our list of options, it's easy to see that Etihad charges a lot more than what American Airlines is charging. Now let's see what happens when we go to Air France. I enter all the same search criteria, including March 10th, and La Premiere is the class. Hit search flights. When the results pop up, there's a message up at the top. Sorry, there are no seats available in the cabin you selected. Alternate options in the business class cabin are listed below. I called Flying Blue and the agent confirmed that she also could not see the award space. So apparently, Flying Blue is not being given first class award space right now by Etihad. So in our options for booking, we only have two real options because Flying Blue is not available and Air Canada is not available. If you plan to book an award flight on Etihad Airways and you wanna know where to book, it's probably clear by now that there's not just one simple answer. There are several factors that you need to look at when determining where to book. The first factor you need to consider is the timing of your flight. If you need to book an Etihad Award flight further out than 30 days, then currently your only option is to book through Etihad. This has been different in the past, and boy do I hope that it becomes different again in the future. But for now, at the time that this video is being recorded, that is your only option. As a side note, Etihad recently announced that they're instituting a few changes as of June of this year. They've promised to reduce the miles needed for first class by up to 30%, and business class seats by up to 25%. So even though Etihad is much higher priced at the moment, the planned reduction should help a little bit. If you're booking a flight within 30 days, the next factor to consider is class of service. If you're booking economy, you can use American Airlines, Etihad Airways, Flying Blue, or Air Canada. 
If you're booking business class, you can only use American Airlines, Etihad Airways, or Flying Blue. And if you're booking first class, your only two options are American Airlines or Etihad Airways. The third factor to consider is points they charge and points you have. Once you have your list narrowed down based on the first two factors, then it's time to look at what each airline is charging and how many and what kind of points you have. I have quite a few American Airlines miles, so I would definitely book through American Airlines because they are far and away the cheapest option. In fact, the first class Etihad flight I recently took was booked through American Airlines. But if you don't have enough American Airlines miles or built points, then you have to make a decision that works for you. Let me know in the comments where you would be most likely to book. The fourth factor to consider is available transfer bonuses. When you're comparing pricing, make sure to check for available transfer bonuses on each of your flexible travel reward credit cards, and then figure those discounts into your calculations. For example, if you're booking a business class ticket and Chase is offering a 25% discount on transfers to Flying Blue, instead of needing 90,000 miles to book, you'll only need 67,500 miles. Also, I always like to add the warning that you should never transfer points until you absolutely know that you have the flight that you want to book. Because once you transfer the points, you can never transfer them back. The last thing to look at when deciding where to book are the cancellation policies. Each airline treats cancellations differently. American Airlines is free. Flying Blue charges 70 euro. Air Canada charges 150 Canadian dollars. And Etihad Airways is really bad. There was recently an announcement by Etihad that was quite shocking. When Etihad announced that they would be reducing the number of points needed for business class and first class award availability, they also announced a new schedule of cancellation fees. And the news was not good. The cancellation fees range between 25 and 100% of the mileage used, depending on how long before your flight you cancel. This is so high that honestly, I will not book through Etihad directly unless this policy changes. I know this video contained a lot of information and that the process is complicated, but if you can think of it more as a strategic game, then it becomes less stressful and a little more fun. Also, there are opportunities to book Etihad Award Space, so don't get too discouraged. Comment below if you have any questions, and let me know what methods you've used in the past to book Etihad Airway tickets, and what methods you're considering in the future. Also, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you like travel content like this. It really does help the channel. Until next time, happy travels.